Hello everyone, I'm making this video because uh, I had a problem to solve and I could not find a YouTube video which covered this before, so I thought I would add my experiences to the uh, collective wisdom and um, share how I solved this problem, which was to fix a broken elastic on a carbon fibre tent pole. So, funny story, um, I was flying my drone and uh, it got stuck in a tree and uh, couldn't get it down, couldn't reach it by climbing, so I borrowed a tent pole from a, a student at the school where I teach. Thank you very much for lending me that. Um, however, sadly, although I got the drone back, I broke the elastic in the tent pole. And I thought that would mean uh, replacing the tent pole because I didn't really know how the elastic was fitted inside. But it turns out it's really fairly straightforward to fix um, the tent. This would work, I think, with uh, virtually any kind of tent with this sort of uh, pole. Uh, this particular one came from uh, the well-known retailer Decathlon um, and hats off to them because on their website they absolutely urge you not to throw a tent away because the pole is broken and will sell you a replacement and also give some instructions on how to replace the elastic in the tent pole and the video that they have uh, shows some of the details but uh, I still couldn't quite figure it out at first and I've had to try several things to work it out so I thought I'd share that experience with you. So um, the elastic is threaded through all the poles and then it's, it's basically it's just a knot at the end that stops it from coming out. Uh, the problem is the hole is very narrow so um, there's plenty it's quite easy to buy a shock cord online and the first sort of shock cord I bought was too fat. So I sent off, bought this, bought this uh, from a well-known um, mail order retailer and uh, it didn't fit because it was too fat. So uh, the, the lesson I learned here was that uh, you need to not only measure what you think the diameter of the old elastic is, but you need to measure the diameter of the hole down the middle of the carbon fibre pole so that uh, you know that it will definitely fit in. I ordered 10 metres of shock cord and when it arrived, it arrived as two five metre lengths. So I've got this spare packet. Uh, as it happens, uh, a five metre length was um, was absolutely fine. Um, but if I'd needed more than five metres on a run, um, that would have caught me out. And the other thing is that when you cut the, um, the shock cord, the outer casing... Uh, tends to fray a lot and then it won't thread through the hole very easily so the easiest thing to do with that is to get a lighter or a match and use the match to very briefly heat the cut end and then roll it between your fingers so that uh, it stays as a, um, a a nice sort of even end so it'll slide through um, the instructions I saw said to use a piece of wire to feed through the pole and then use that to drag the elastic through. So I used the old coat hanger trick and straightened out a piece of coat hanger uh, and that will just about fit through the hole but the trouble is it's such a tight fit through the narrow hole in the um, carbon fibre pole that you then have got no way of attaching your um, elastic to it to drag that through so that didn't work so I thought well I'll try some thinner wire I got some uh, garden wire which is much thinner still quite stiff so it was still easy enough to push through the pole uh, but I, I found I couldn't attach that either I tried all sorts of things I tried electrical tape much too fat I tried parcel tape thinner but doesn't grip very well and still was very difficult to get through um, I got some self-adhesive heat shrink and used that to join the two things together and that worked very well at joining the things through together but it wouldn't fit through the hole in the pole so I had to give up with that as well um, so uh, what I found was actually if you're careful you can actually thread the elastic through uh, just by itself um, it's much easier if you can insert the elastic at this end of the pole where it's just the carbon fibre rather than through the ferrule although you can do that um, so that's what I found. So to remove the old uh, elastic, what you have to do is just pull that out. If it's broken, it should be fairly easy to pull out. At the very end of the pole, what you'll find is that there is a, a knot tied on the end and probably, there, or hopefully, there will be a loop in the end of the elastic. So I've got this piece of garden uh, wire and I've made a hook in it so that I'm able to um, 
get the elastic out so I can use that hook to pull that out and there is a loop that's the one that I've made now um, to, for my new elastic uh, I, don't, I don't know if you can see that but that's a bowline which is a very strong knot definitely won't come undone um, and it, there's a loop there so I've I can use that loop to get this out if I need to. Uh, I suspect any kind of knot in the elastic will stop it going through. Um, and a common kind of stop knot is the figure of eight knot, which I've tied in the other end. That's just a temporary knot I've tied there. Uh, that will stop the elastic going through, but really you want to have a loop on the end so that if you need to, you can get the uh, elastic back out again. Okay, so then I was thread merrily threading my elastic through, which was not too difficult. So it's quite uh, tricky to start with, um, but uh, you soon get used to it. I found that uh, next thing was that not all the poles would fit together um, because they have to be in a certain order. So if you break your elastic, try to keep the poles in the right order um, before you remove the elastic completely because it makes the job a whole lot easier. The Decathlon website was really helpful for this tent, which I believe they don't make anymore even. Um, but they had all the information about the poles and I was able to work out, because there's three different sorts of pole. There's a short section at each end and then there's a whole bunch of these longer sections with a ferrule at one end and um, just carbon fibre at the other end. And then there's one piece that has a ferrule on both ends uh, and it turns out that isn't in the middle exactly, uh, it goes in a certain order. So um, what I would advise is slot the, all the poles together to make sure they actually fit together and double check you've got them in the right order. Uh, having done that, I then threaded the elastic through one by one, um, tying my, I showed you the loop, I've pulled that all the way through and on the desk here now I've got all the poles in the correct order um, and it all goes together. So the last thing I've got to do now is fit all the pieces together and then pull the elastic out and then put something on there to hold it in position whilst I cut the tail of this elastic off and make another stop knot at the end. So this is how you just finish it off. Um, what I've done is I've pulled the elastic through. I've pulled it reasonably hard. It's quite a long length of elastic. It's about four metres long. So I can, I can, there's a lot of slack I can take up and I've tied a nice fat figure of eight knot which will be easy to undo and that just means I'm not cut, uh, finishing it off under tension uh, or tying a knot while it's under tension I should say so um, I want the the knot to be just upstream of here and then I'm going to untie this knot and it'll all uh, go back in so um, let's see I'm going to cut it off I think about here so I'm going to use a bowlin so that I've got a stop knot that has a loop in it um, and I'm going to leave that bowlin with quite a short loop because it doesn't need to be very big I just need something to be able to catch with a wire so I'm just going to pull that through like that, nice and tight, little loop, and I can just trim that end off, and I, I know that won't come undone, and uh, jobs are good. So, there we go. I hope that has helped you uh, if you ever have this problem, and uh, it's certainly a good way to extend the life of your tent, and I thank my student from whom I borrowed this pole for his patience in the time it's taken me to repair it. Okay, thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye all.